Hey everybody, this is Mark Germany with Fireside Winery and Ackerman Winery, and as you can see, I can't. So today we are going to be doing a little blind tasting of all of our club releases for the April wine clubs. And we're going to tell you a little bit about each wine and see if I can identify them without seeing what they are or knowing what they are. Have fun. Wine number one. Let's see. To your left. To the left, to the left. Okay. Hmm. I can definitely tell it's a sweeter wine. I can definitely tell it's a white. So that kind of narrows me down to glow and storyteller. This kind of has a very, very, very slight um, peppery flavor or aroma to it, which reminds me of Brianna. So my official guess is gonna be Glow. Good job. Okay. Oh, Glow, this is our top seller. Beautiful pink bottle. <laughs> Uh, made from 100% Brianna. We grow the majority of the Brianna that we use to make this particular wine, but we do also source some Brianna from some other Iowa County growers as well. Um, but Brianna is one of the largest cultivars uh, throughout our Brickyard Hill Vineyard, and here at our Fireside Vineyard, it is the main grapevine planted here on this property. So if you're ever out on the patio and you're looking out back at all the vines out there, almost all of that is Brianna. Um, so with this, um, it is a sweeter wine. This is designed really to make that sweet wine drinker happy. We're somewhere in between seven and 8%. It kind of varies per vintage, per vintage based on how much acid um, those particular grapes have for that year. And we're using more or less sugar based on how much acid there is in order to create the proper balance. Um, and we go through really, really rigorous blending trials where we blend up all these different sweetness levels and we taste it. I know that's the hard part, right? But we taste and we really make sure compared to the previous vintage that we're keeping it as consistent as possible. Um, Glow will never be 100% exactly like the last one, but we try to keep it as close as we possibly can because we do want a nice consistent product. Judging by taste this year, I think this one's around 7.5% residual sugar. Um, so that equates to about 75 grams per liter of wine. So it is on the sweeter side, but because of the acid level that Brianna creates whenever it's growing and whenever it's processed, um, it is a really, really balanced sweetness. So um, even your more semi-sweet drinkers can still enjoy this wine quite a bit. Cheers. Next one. Ooh, time for more wine. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? Like 10 o'clock? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, middle, 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 yep. Okay. I can smell this one from here. <laughs> I don't even have to bring it to my nose. Oh, peach rings. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what this reminds me of. My favorite candy in the whole world, the little PTOs, the trolley PTOs. Um, that can only be one thing, um, and I would say sunset. Woohoo. Okay. So um, Sunset is gonna be a blend of our estate-grown Brianna and estate-grown Edelweiss this year. Um, and then we do add in a little bit of a natural peach flavoring, which kind of gives it that more candy peach. We could, we do make peach wine for Ackerman Winery. We could blend that in there and we've tried that in the past. But with this, we're really trying to achieve a certain flavor. We're trying to uh, get a certain aroma um, and we want it to be unmistakably peach when you pick up this glass of wine and smell it. It's extremely refreshing. I recommend serving it even beyond chilled. I like this refrigerated. Even though I'm not a proponent for pouring your wine over ice, of course, you can drink your wine however you want to. I really don't mind. Uh, but this is the one that if you're going to pour it on ice, it drinks a little bit more like a wine cocktail than it does a wine. Um, just wonderful peach aromas. A little bit of honeysuckle on the nose from the Edelweiss. It's really good, it's like candy. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, I'm gonna be on your right. Pull this out. 
Okay, it's gotta be up. All righty. This one's pretty easy. It smells like Concord grapes. So it's, it's one of two things. Um, it's either Serenade or it's Concord for our Ackerman winery. Um, the only way to tell is to taste it. That's Serenade. Yep. Got it. And you might be wondering how I could tell that that is Serenade versus our Concord wine for Ackerman. And they are made from the same grapes. Um, but Serenade is a little less sweet than Concord is for our Ackerman line. So um, with Serenade, we tend to do this around 8% residual sugar, give or take a little bit. Um, with Ackerman, it tends to be quite a bit sweeter because that's what our customer is really looking for with Ackerman wines. Um, this is made 100% from Concord grapes. This is another one that we don't grow here on our property. Um, just because we've always been able to source really, really high quality fruit when it comes to Concord from the Finger Lakes area of New York. Um, this is one of those nostalgia factor wines. Everybody remembers when they were a kid drinking Welch's grape juice, which is made primarily from Concord grapes. It probably isn't 100% Concord grapes anymore, but it's just one of those unmistakable things. Our customers refer to it as communion wine sometimes, uh, but it's basically like adult grape juice. <laughs> 